Fijian pea is a very special crop in Africa, especially in Eastern and Southern Africa, where it has been grown for many years. Um, traditionally, the women grew an improved um, pigeon pea varieties that were taking a very long time to mature and uh, this is part of the reason why they only grew them in very small gardens. But this has changed over the last three decades when uh, partnerships between ICRISAT and the national programs came up with uh, improved varieties that have since been released and now are better yielding, are taking a shorter duration to mature and have the desired attributes um, for both uh, women and uh, other end users. And because of that, pigeon pea has also um, become an important export crop and it has attracted a lot of producers, even large scale producers, most of which are now men. Now, one of the main challenges uh, in the production of pigeon pea is that it is very sensitive to photoperiodism. This basically means it can take a, a very long time to flower in one region and in another region it can take a very short time. So the breeding requires to uh, take into account different agroecologies, which becomes very, very challenging. Um, uh, there's also a very narrow genetic base and this basically means that uh, breeders have very few options in terms of exploiting uh, varieties that um, different end users require. Now there are several ways in which these challenges can be addressed. The length that it takes to maturity can be um, resolved by using advanced breeding tools, for example genomics. My work involves the use of advanced tools, um, and this is uh, mainly in genomics, to be able to come up with superior varieties within a very short time, but also to be able to resolve uh, particular problems that, um, have, that face farmers in terms of production of pigeon pea. Um, it, especially in pigeon pea, it is uh, to do with disease resistance, but also in terms of um, sensitivity to photoperiodism. So one of the things we do is that we try to find uh, methods or um, particular elements that will help the breeders to be able to reduce the length of breeding time. So if traditionally it took them seven years to be able to release a variety, with the help of advanced tools, they can uh, reduce that length to uh, about four years or a minimum of three years to be able to, re to release a variety. And the other thing that we can do is that we can you exploit those tools to be able to uh, combine the unique attributes you find in pigeon pea in Asia and the unique attributes you find in pigeon pea in Africa, combine them, them and come up with something that is quite diverse but would also be uh, uh, relevant for different end users. And uh, genomics tools would help uh, in doing this in a very efficient way. Now, another challenge also with uh, pigeon pea production is that uh, you don't find a lot of young people involved. And one of the things that uh, we try to improve is to uh, make a pigeon pea production attractive to the, to, 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 to the youth and also to, to um, other end users. And um, particularly uh, mentoring them into um, better production methods or, or learning on advanced uh, users is, is, is quite important. Also taking advantage of the middle income earners in most of uh, uh, African countries. Uh, these middle income earners uh, like experimenting with uh, new recipes and uh, because of that, you know, uh, there's need to be able to understand exactly what they're interested in and to be able to exploit that and uh, come up with new varieties that they can use in, in experimenting for different re recipes. Um, there's also need to, to, to improve uh, the marketing. For example, at the moment, most of the production in Eastern and Southern Africa, but there's need to be able to also export to West African countries, for example, or even just uh, different uh, countries within Eastern and Southern Africa where sometimes production is low.